As we near the end of Black History Month in America, a long overdue bill so many civil rights icons fought and died for has made it through Congress. This bill labels lynching as a federal offense and a hate crime for the first time at the national level. 12 News' Alex Love breaks down this historic vote and joins us now live from the two Mississippi museums. Alex. Absolutely. Since 1900, similar versions of anti-lynching bills have been brought forth on Capitol Hill, but were always shot down in the Senate or Congress. Now the one to finally break through bears the name of an innocent 14-year-old boy who was killed in a racist attack right here in Mississippi. With overwhelmingly bipartisan support, the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act surged through Congress, passing 410 to 4. I just find it completely disappointing and embarrassing that 200 years later, we're finally getting lynching outlawed. Too late uh, is probably my best explanation. It's good that it's being rectified, but it's also a problem that it took so long to be rectified. While sympathetic for its passing, many we spoke to at the Civil Rights Museum and Jackson State expressed frustration why the heinous act took generations to be fully outlawed. We have seen grandparents, we have seen great-grandparents that haven't even had the chance to be great-grandparents because they should have happened far, far sooner. The most of the sacrifices were a lot of people's deaths, like unnecessarily, it was just a hate crime. For Cindy Wilson, who's from Atlanta and plays soccer at Jackson State, this bill hits close to home. My great-great-great-grandmother, who was a former slave, and her husband was lynched. I think they would rest easy now knowing that they don't have to worry that their granddaughter has to worry about this illegal issue that's going on. Walking through the Civil Rights Museum, you'll come across the hundreds of black victims who died from lynchings in Mississippi. The latest on record, Malcolm Wright, hung in Chickasaw County in 1949, accused of hogging the road. Because you could just get lynched for anything. I mean, if they didn't, if they felt that you were not, you didn't move off the sidewalk quick enough, I mean, it was anything. Under the law, lynching would carry an enhanced sentence, which could lead to life in prison, while also labeled a hate crime in all 50 states. The bill unanimously passed in the Senate last year in 2019, and it was brought on the floor in Congress by Representative Bobby Rush of Illinois. His district also holds the former home of Emmett Till, where he grew up. Live outside the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum in downtown Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News.